Father Ignacio Ejacuria Beascoechea was born in Portugalete, Vizcaya, Spain, on November 9, 1930. He was raised in a deeply religious household which inspired his pursuits as a Jesuit missionary. Entered the novitiate on September 14, 1947, at Loyola. He was one of the young founders of the novitiate of the Society of Jesus in Santa Tecla, El Salvador, in 1949. Later, he studied classical humanities and philosophy at the Catholic University of Quito, Ecuador, and returned to San Salvador, where he taught Latin scholastic philosophy. From 1958 to 1962, he studied theology in Innsbruck, Austria. Ija Curia was a great athlete. He scaled the Andes, played soccer, and racquetball. During his academic stay in Austria, soccer gave him a unique escape from the stresses of theology. Along with some Austrian and German-speaking Jesuits, he joined a championship-winning team. Ija Curia began teaching philosophy at UCA in 1967. He was president of the university chair of the philosophy department and editor of several publications. Father Asia Curia was a primary proponent of liberation theology, speaking and writing on poverty and oppression in El Salvador, regularly contributing to newspapers and radio and television programs. Era tal los siglos de historia en la Iglesia de que la parte amorosa del cristianismo tenía que ser conducida en canales de tipo caritativo y nada más, lo cual es importantísimo. ¿verdad? Era tal el superar eso y que también el amor tiene una, una dimensión social ¿eh? y eh, de justicia. Y que entonces la palabra de Dios no solo se dirige al individuo, a la familia o al matrimonio, sino que se dirige a la sociedad. Along with his writings on liberation theology, he was also incredibly erudite in his writings on the philosophy of liberation and philosophy of history. For Father Eja Curia, human reality is historical and social the range of possibilities in which the freedom of any given individual's life must be exercised is the result of both past human actions and the society in which the individual lives. Internationally adored and respected, Ajak Rudia was prolific in his scholarship and activism advocating for the poor. But with the rise of the Cold War, anti-communist discourse and policy began to drive many right-wing governments, including El Salvador. Due to the work of the Jesuits fighting for the rights and well-being of the poor and oppressed, they were among those labeled as communists. Father Aja Rudia himself was labeled by the right-wing government as a subversive, a proponent of communist Marxism-Leninism and a primary intellectual author for the FMLN. Father Eja Curia had naturalized as a citizen, he was denied re-entry into El Salvador in 1977 after leaving the country when Jesuit priest Utilio Grande was assassinated. He again left the country after the assassination of Archbishop Oscar Romero in 1980, and due to that event particularly became one of the most outspoken critics of human rights abuses and suffering in El Salvador. The increasing attacks on the Jesuits through the 1980s only seemed to deepen Father Eja Curia's resolve to facilitate an end to the war through assisting with peace negotiations. 
He had developed relationships with people on all sides of the conflict, helping mediate with the FMLN in 1985, for example, to release the kidnapped daughter of then-President Duarte. And while the move towards peace seemed increasingly closer to fruition, the negotiations underway included a demand for the removal of La Tandona from their seat of power and a complete overhaul of government. In 1986, Ardena, the right-wing party backing the military dictatorship, launched a campaign to strip Father Ejacuria of his Salvadoran citizenship, and a special commission was formed to investigate him. In 1989, the attacks against Father Ejacuria and his colleagues increased. In July, President Cristiani called for his capture. November 11th through the 15th, a full-on propaganda campaign against him was operationalized by La Tandona and the Salvadoreño Armed Forces. On November 13th, Father Ejacuria returned from a trip to Barcelona, where he had accepted an award and chosen to quickly return due to the escalation of violence, hoping he could help mediate between the government and guerrillas as he had done before. Upon his return, the UCA campus was searched, and when he questioned the military's right to search church property, he was told a state of siege permits anything. On November 16th, under military orders to kill Father Ejacudia and leave no witnesses, he was murdered along with five other Jesuit priests, the rectory housekeeper, and her daughter. El sol a nacer Es como un tierno capullo Que al reventar en flor A la tierra baña con su calor Allá en el campo levanta Su cabeza en los ranchitos Parecen pajaritos extendiendo sus palitas ahí donde vive mi hermano. 